when is your head coach here at USF talking about how you're feeling? Uh, obviously very happy. Uh, sometimes winning's like relief because you're just stressing for that first one. The first of anything's really hard. But uh, I was pretty confident coming into today in the sense of I knew we had Adam Shue start, and he's been awesome since the day I met him, and I knew we'd be in the game, and that's all you could ask for as a coach. But uh, hopefully first of many, but um, the credit goes to the guys. Like, I, I don't play the game. I tell them that all the time. So really, really excited and relieved and ready to move on to tomorrow, but we're going to enjoy this one a little bit. You mentioned Shue. He had a strong start three Ks in the first inning. How do you think that helped his movements? Uh, I don't think he needed the three Ks in the first to feel confident, but – I think our team needed it after obviously what happened yesterday. Um, we kept joking in the dugout, let's get to the bottom of the first tide. Um, and, and we did, and that was the goal. Um, it's always easier to play baseball from ahead, and scoring first is always important. But when you're home, you need that zero. And that kind of set the tone. After a big slugfest yesterday, I think you, you start with three Ks, it kind of puts a little doubt in their head, like this is going to be a different type game today. And that got us off to a great start. Weston came out of the bullpen and did a great job. Just talk about his efforts on that. Weston was huge. I mean, we were playing inning by inning and seeing what the score would be. Uh, gave up some free ones, three walks, and it hit batter in the first two innings. And, you know, I'm, I'm going back and forth in my head. You know, does he have it today? Does he not? He got us a couple double plays. He was huge. Um, Coach Eric talked me into keeping him going, and he proved Eric right and me wrong, and he got us all the way to the end, and that was awesome. But um, it was Shoe and Weston today, obviously. The nine innings, one run. It's hard to lose when you do that. Not as many hits as you would like, or as many as yesterday, but it seemed like you got to win a matter at the time of hits. You know, how does that help your confidence when you do the rest of the series and at the beginning of the year when you're not so sure? Yeah, I mean, hitting hitting's hard. And these guys have a lot of good pitchers, a lot of different angles and arms coming out of the bullpen, starting. Um, I mean, we still had, what, uh, nine hits and really a couple timely ones, and that was huge. Um, we haven't been able to get a running game going that well, but we got one base today. Uh, we're, we're trying to make things happen on offense, but it was just a well-pitched game on both sides. And what those games come down to is who gets a timely hit, who gets a big hit. Um, and I thought, even though we were already ahead, I thought Mario's hit. Uh, tacking on that extra run, there's such a big difference between a two-run lead and a one-run lead, and that was almost like a sigh of relief in the dugout when it wasn't his best hit ball, but that's all it takes sometimes is find a place to end. Harris coming around and scoring. I mean, that was huge for us. You mentioned, or excuse me, going back to shoot for a little bit, he had 70 pitches on the day. He seemed to be pitching pretty well after that. I mean, were you watching the pitch count, or how does that play out? Yeah, pitch counts, I think, pretty important early in the season. Um, we know if we're going to have – a good season, Shoe's going to be a big part of it, obviously. Um, but, you know, we're confident in the guys behind him. So we have a kind of pass it to the next guy mentality. You go until, you know, Coach Eric and myself think, you know, someone else is going to have more in the tank than you. Do I think Adam could have kept going? Yes. But at this point in the year, first off, I don't think it's really that worth it. And second off, we got to see what we can do with everyone coming out of the pen. So, and again, in a four game series, um, you got to kind of stretch some people out and others you want to bring back later in the series. So, um, yeah, I think he could have kept going, but hey, some of those last at bats were a battle and he got us out of there. And sometimes you don't want a lineup to see the same guy three and four times th through the lineup as well. So um, that was kind of the reasoning behind that. Defensively, you played a clean game, no errors. How important was that to do, especially up the middle and have those double plays? Nah, I mean, defense has been huge for us. I Going into the year, I thought we had a really good defensive infield. Um, and it's showed so far. I mean, I, we had one double play we should have turned today. We didn't finish the back end of it. Uh, but outfield defense has been good. Uh, it's going to be important. I mean, it's hard. These are good lineups, good teams. And we just talk about outs need to be outs. I mean, 27 outs is hard to get if you got to get 28, 29, 30 because you're not making plays. It's just that much harder. Uh, free bases and extra at-bats are what adds to pitch count and having to use more people. So. Um, they've been great. You know, even the last play of the game, that guy flies. It's, it's a tough play, bang, bang. But Mario came in, charge, got it done. And one of the biggest plays of the game is we're yelling 1-1-1 one, one, one on the bunt. Lombard is confident, throws it to second, and TJ picks it. And, I mean, that, that's a game-saving play that you won't see probably anywhere in your box score except a fielder's choice on a bunt. That was a huge play in the game. Uh, seems like a couple of the balls that got hit really well, bang, knocked that right field. Most of your ballparks, those are home runs. Is that something you're still getting used to as a staff? That big yeah, it's, it's a different game here. Uh, 
I think it gives you some hits and it takes some extra base hits away. I mean, yesterday, thinking back, probably T.J. Rogers' balls caught at most places, but it scrapes the wall for a double. And then Stapleton almost put a hole in the wall today, and it's a single. You know, and that's just kind of how it goes. And even an earlier one, if you think back, Asby had one that I'm thinking at our park's going to scrape the wall, and they catch it up against the fence. But honestly, it should be our advantage. We practice here every day. We go to work here every day, so we should know how to play it. And I, th I think our hitters do a good job of not really paying attention to it and just having good at-bats and let the results happen.